In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your payment plan in Google Workspace to an annual plan. This process is quick and should take about five minutes to complete. Let's get started. First, you'll need to navigate to Google Workspace. This is where you manage all your settings and accounts related to Google services. Once there, ensure you're logged into the account that holds your current subscription. If multiple accounts are linked, make sure to choose the correct Google account. Enter your password as prompted, ensuring that you have the necessary permissions to make changes to billing settings and plans. After inputting your information, click on Next. Next, turn your attention to the upper right corner of your screen and look for the icon resembling a grid or square dots. This is your gateway to Google Apps, providing easy access to various functionalities and admin settings. Clicking on this icon, you'll select Admin Console. This is the central control hub for managing billing, subscriptions, and user settings within Google Workspace. Once inside the Admin Console, locate and click on the Billing section. This area is dedicated to handling payments, subscriptions, and other financial aspects of your Google Workspace account. In the Billing section, look for Subscriptions and click on it. You'll see a list of your current subscriptions here. Identify the plan you wish to change. This should be your current Google Workspace plan. Click on your plan, which will open up further options related to your subscription. Now you're going to click on Change Payment Plan. This action brings up the available billing options that you can switch to. You're interested in the annual plan this time, and at this stage you'll want to click on Review Pricing Details to make sure you understand the costs associated with the switch. Moving forward, you'll be prompted to specify the total number of users for the plan. This is crucial as your billing amount will depend on the number of active users you have in your Google Workspace. Once you've confirmed or adjusted the total number of users, you're almost at the finish line. Finally, click on Checkout to complete the transition to the annual payment plan. This step confirms your selection and your subscription will now be billed annually. Make sure to review all details to ensure everything is correctly set up before you proceed. And there you have it, you've successfully changed your Google Workspace payment plan to an annual billing cycle. Remember that making this change could benefit you with potential savings over the monthly billing option and streamline annual accounting processes. If you have any further questions or issues, Google's support resources are just a click away for additional assistance. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this guide has been helpful.